Hey guys, welcome to another Technology Guru 77 video. Uh, today we are in the application Photoshop CS5. Uh, I'm going to take a brief moment to apologize for the lack of videos for a long, long time. Uh, I have been in college and have not had the time to do it, but I am back on track better than ever, uh, ready to go to give you guys some tutorials uh, in some programs that you need, that you want. Uh, let me know what programs you want to see tutorials in in the comments below or send me a message. I'll be more than happy to help you out. That's my goal is to make your life easier. So today, again, we are in Photoshop CS5. As you can see here, I got a beautiful picture of a snowy landscape here. Uh, and today I'm going to do a brief, brief tutorial on understanding and utilizing the different types of save formats in the, in the Photoshop program. Uh, so once you have the picture like you want it, okay, let's say I've gone in here and I'm doing something for my church or I'm doing something for my school and, uh, you know, I'm going to type in, you know, snowy landscape, okay, and I've got, I'm not, I'm not going to do any fancy editing uh, with this, guys, I'm just going to get something uh, up here. So once, once I do that, once I, once I have it um, like I want it, okay, and I, I've got some text here, okay, that I, I, I want to save. Now, my project is done. Now, what do I do next? And, and the question you have to ask yourself is this. Is this going to be used for web? Is this going to be online? Is this going to be in a magazine format, a brochure format? All of those things are things that you need to know before you go saving your file. So the first thing you do is you go to, obviously, you go to File, Save As, okay? And you can also go to Export, and then you can export this to Illustrator. The paths to Illustrator, you can render a, a video and Zoomify. I'm not going to get into that now. So file, save as. Once you do that, this little box will come up here. Now I'm going to save this as snowy landscapes, okay? Now .psd is going to be your Photoshop file. Now you want to save a copy in Photoshop in case you ever need to go back and edit this within Photoshop. Don't ever forget to leave Photoshop without saving a copy of the PSD. So I'm going to do that now on my desktop. Uh, maximize compatibility. Absolutely, I want to maximize the compatibility. So now that I've saved one as a Photoshop file, I'm going in here and I'm going to look at this. Format Photoshop. Now, look at all of these different formats. I could go into a two-hour long lecture on what all of these different ones are. I am not going to do that. I am going to show you one or two of the most frequently used formats that you will be needing to put these in your work work workforce or whatever you're going to be doing with these photos. First, obviously, the one that you will know most most of you already know will be a JPEG, JPEG or JPG in different uh, programs. Click on JPEG. Now, once you click on the JPEG, it's going to say, "Do you want to embed the color profile?" Now, I have I have a special color profile in Photoshop that I've loaded already previously, so I'm going to go ahead and embed that. Uh, file must be saved as a copy with the selection. That's just telling you it's going to save a copy of the original in a, a PSD format. That is fine. So I will go to save. Now this box comes up, and you're like, "Oh no, another box!" This this is where the magic happens, guys. Quality 12 maximum. Okay, now. You're saying, of course I'm going to do the maximum. Wait a minute, guys. What if this file needs to be uh, sent to someone via email? It's going to be too big. So you can always go in here and you can adjust it. Never go down here to the low format. It's going to be so far skewed. The picture's not going to come out right. Medium is okay. I would stay around the 7, 8 range all the way up to 12. Let's say I want it 10. So I'm going to leave it at 10, okay? Uh, and then format option. Leave it baseline standard. Don't change this. I'll get into that later. And then once you do that, you can select OK, and you have yourself saved a, a, a JPEG format. I can go on my desktop. Here it is as a JPEG here. I will preview that and wait one second, and then it'll load. Look at that. Beautiful. Into my JPEG. That's a JPEG. Now, the last one that I'm going to show you, uh, well, yeah, the last one I'm going to show you is going to be a Photoshop PDF. This is if you're saving, like, a text document with images. You could have it as a PDF, and you can send it to iPhones and Android devices that can open it up uh, that way. 
You also have the .png. There are some websites that only accept PNG. It is another image file, uh, such as JPEG. TIFF is the same way. Some websites will only uh, accept TIFFs.tiff. But primarily, you're going to be looking at making sure you save as a Photoshop, a .psd. Make sure you do that. And then save another copy as a JPEG or a PDF or a TIFF or a .png. And the rest of these are for uh, you know a lot of web design kind of stuff that I'm not going to get into. But that, guys, is what you need to know about saving images and projects in Photoshop. This has been another Techno Guru 77 video for you. Hope you've enjoyed it. Don't forget to comment and like below. Let's get this subscriber count up. Uh, as always, I want to make your life easier and I will see you guys next time.